Morning, family and friends, and uh, welcome back to the Curry's Go Seaside. Um, it's been an interesting week, a little bit of frustration, but before I get into that, I just wanted to recap why we have this channel uh, and where we're at in our journey. As you recall, we bought 16 acres, 900 feet of shoreline in Nova Scotia, uh, and one of the things uh, that came with the property was an older house. It was a 100-year-old home, had been lived in probably three, four years ago, so it wasn't in too bad a shape. But um, Part of establishing a presence, I guess, in Nova Scotia was to get the power turned on that would allow us to, you know, have electricity, allow us to plug our trailer in, whatever, turn the water on, the water pump on, so we check the well. Uh, once the well water gets turned on, you can check the septic. So the power was the, the first start to this thing. And, and um, quite frankly, it, it, it took a while to get there. Um, we had to bring the uh, house up to code since power hadn't been turned on in three years. So. Uh, we managed to uh, connect with a fantastic electrician, uh, Richard Belcombe, out of Shelburne uh, County, and, uh, and um, truly a fantastic person. Uh, like I say, well, you know, integrity, uh, diligent about, about his work ethic, uh, proud of the, the quality of work he does, and, and quite frankly, he does a very great job. Um, Anyways, it, it took some time to get through, get to him, I guess, and find out who I wanted to use for the electrical work, and and then, you know, actually scheduling time to do to do the work. Uh, it, it took some time, so that was probably about a month, five weeks type of thing. <clears throat> got the electrical work done, got the inspector in, uh, and Richard was great. He made sure he was there when the inspector was there, passed certification, um, and then I thought, okay, great, we're off to the races. We're going to have power sooner rather than later, and and. Um, Nova Scotia Power had a, a different idea. They wanted to do a line capacity test, which, fine. Um, you know, I don't want to blow any uh, any transbond transponders or capacitors or whatever's on the uh, the electrical line. Um, so, anyways, they scheduled the test. Long story short, uh, I got a call at six thirty one morning. Uh, the technician was on his way. Um, didn't say anyone had to be there. Not once did anyone tell me someone had to be there when we get the the. Um, line capacity test done and so I gave him Richard's number forgot Richard was on vacation um, but anyways found out about a week later that in fact the appointment had been canceled because no one was there no one told me like I say no one said anyone had to be there and so I had to get it rescheduled which another two to three weeks anyways the line capacity uh, test was, um, was conducted this past week we passed uh, there was plenty of capacity on the line, so there's not a concern there. But the one thing the technician did notice was that um, the pole on the property was old and, and he recommended replacing it, so he put a service order in. Okay, uh, it is what it is, another two weeks to do that, but I got an email uh, this past couple of days from Nova Scotia Power saying, because of the work order, they need it to uh, either have a building permit or they need it, the uh, municipality to send me a letter saying I don't need a building permit. So after going back and forth a couple of times with emails with Nova Scotia Power to no avail and advising them that this is an existing home or just turning the power back on, uh, I finally had to reach out to the municipality, um, got a hold of the uh, inspector, fantastic guy. Uh, he went out there within an hour and a half, quite frankly, um, saw that it was an existing home that we're not building, don't need a building permit. And so he emailed um, Nova Scotia Power, advised them that a permit was not required. And so I'm hoping this is the end of this saga and that power uh, does get turned on in the next couple of weeks after they replace the pole. But I will let you know uh, once that happens. I guess the moral of today's story is if you're looking to build, looking to uh, take up residence in Nova Scotia, whether it be for a part-time basis or a full-time basis, understand that take you know power isn't a quick job there. Um, it's taken me uh, since, uh, since the early part of June to get the power turned on. Uh, and, and so just be prepared that it does take some time to work through through the process. People I've dealt with Nova Scotia Power have been have been great to deal with, so I've got no complaints there, but it just, it seems that there's one hoop after another after another, um, all for good reasons, but just, like I say, moral of the story, just be prepared to invest the time required in order to get the power turned on and therefore everything else would, uh, would fall into place thereafter. So with that being said, I wish everybody a fantastic day. Uh, it's very sunny here in uh, in, uh, in Toronto, um, and I look forward to being out in Nova Scotia sooner or later and providing you guys some videos on on the property itself as we 
uh, look to start clearing it this fall and, and to make some pathways and some driveways and all that good fun stuff. So anyways, have a great day and we'll uh, talk later. Thanks.